Hey, what's going on, Virgo? Thank you so much for tuning in. Happy Love Day to you guys. All right, so let's see what the energy is like for you today. Um, don't forget, flip the rules. Take what you need, leave what you do not need, and use the spirit of discernment. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Give us this lovely message. The yin and the yang card. Okay, so I don't know if this is past, present, or future energies for you. Um, but however, it seems like somebody is getting ready to take some type of logical, more active approach to things here in your situation. It's like, you know how you apply a little bit more pressure. I feel like somebody in your story could have been... Um, really going within just really examining some things here they could have even been defensive um guarded hostile like got the hostility card in the reverse position um but right now it just seems like they're getting ready to take some type of action or you could be taking some type of action here letting yep cornucopia and what i was getting ready to say is like letting your guards down okay um so you can have your wish fulfillment. That's how I'm seeing the cornucopia card. It's like it's like a great blessing um, coming into your life. Okay, so it's like the seeds you planted, they're ready. All I all I keep hearing today is ready. You're now ready. Okay, it's like you're now um, dealing with your issues fully, facing them, healing loving yourself you know you're now in this energy and vibration where you're attracting love okay um you're attracting your wish fulfillments okay so give me a card for the yin card taking action on third eye okay so somebody has clarity you know, a clarity of thought or when it comes to um, your personal vision, okay? It's like you can now see it. It's like you, you before I feel like you may have been caught up in some type of confusion and you couldn't really see it fully, okay? But now your third eye may be open. Mm -hmm. Rest and rejuvenation in the truth card. All right, so you may have, again, went into hermit mode, meditative state, or whoever this is connected to you, if this isn't you. And in that process, you gained the truth, okay? That wisdom, all right? This is an awakening. So somebody is going through some type of awakening, getting that revelation of truth. Um, somebody is realizing, all right, it's time for a change. It's time for a change. Like, I can't keep doing things the same. I can't keep responding the same. I can't keep being in this defensive energy, right? Because it don't change nothing. Tell me about the hostility card in the reverse. Yeah, look at that temptation card in the reverse, okay? Somebody is standing in their power at this point or reclaiming their power and their independence and freeing themselves from the self-limiting beliefs, Freeing themselves from the patterns, right? The things that may have been keeping, um, the, the things that may have been keeping you stuck, okay, in hermit mode or, or stuck in some type of life cycle. The Knight of Wands comes out. Ooh, too many cards, but do we want to take these cards? Or that's too many cards. But what I feel like here is that i want to put them up but what i feel like here is that you know you're getting your justice at the end of the day tell me more why this knight of wands is coming out yeah okay so the ten of pentacles reverse and the ace of swords in the upright i mean reverse position so what i feel like again this is where the hostility may have been coming from because whoever you're connected to it's like well this is like a masculine energy coming through there has been a lot of delays and you may have had a lack of clarity and understanding 440 on a timer of like why you're not getting to your ten of pentacles why you're not establishing this long-term relationship why when it comes to your financial abundance you're not manifesting these why like you planted all of these seeds and you've been ambitious and you've been going after it it's not happening 
okay? And it's like now you're letting your guard down, all right? Who is this? It's like somebody really is, is in this energy of, of taking some type of action now, right? With that King of Wands um, coming out. Virgo, Hermit. Virgo, you're letting your guards down. And because you're doing that, it's allowing you to be able to manifest, to receive these great blessings, okay? So tell me about the cornucopia card. Yep, four of wands. Four of wands, y'all. So when it comes to you building this foundation that you've been dreaming about, there go the knight of wands coming out again. That you've been dreaming about, this is it. It's like you're now ready for this blessing to come into your life. Hmm. Let me pull here from Hearts Hidden Secrets real quick. Breaking point clarity. Okay. And then the clarity card comes out. That's the same thing here with um from the psychic tarot deck that came out where it was the third eye. Okay. Um the third chakra. So you got the clarity now. You can see the truth. Some communication could also be coming through is what I'm hearing. But, um, you know, it took somebody to, it takes you to hit your breaking point usually for you to get that epiphany that you need or to get the clarity that you need. And that seems to be what's happening here. Exhaustion. This has been a long journey, Virgo. <laughs> a very long journey. Loyalty. Clinging. You've been so loyal. I just feel like you're very reliable. You've been really loyal. Um, you've been holding on, you know, to the dream, holding on to probably a person and you've been in this waiting cycle with the time card coming out. That's like that divine timing, okay? But what I'm hearing again is like divine timing kicks in, of course, when ego is in the way, all right? Um, and it's been a distance between you and love or you and whatever it is that you're trying to manifest for yourself, all right? A lot of space or something blocking it. Um, and of course, depending on how we handle it, determines how long we are in the waiting process. But now, Virgo, it feels like you're letting your guards down. And now you can actually attract this um, abundance that you seek for yourself. And how I'm hearing it again is like the wait is over. That's how I, I just keep hearing it. Like you're ready. You're finally ready. Okay. The withdrawn card comes out. Um, you've been, you know, single, lonely, by yourself there's somebody that is in your life that um mm -hmm, same thing somebody in your life that has been single you know chasing the thrills third party attachments pride all of that all of that will be what will stop you which will block you from receiving the blessings, okay, um, that you've been praying for. But now, and again, like I said, somebody is letting their guard down and now beginning to take action. Um, it's like that applying pressure type energy is how I'm feeling. If somebody is applying more forceful um, action or, or something here to a particular task at this point. Um, thinking more logical here about the approach on how to do things, um, no longer going within, no longer in this withdrawal, you know, energy, okay? So don't be surprised, all right? If somebody comes in, okay, or some type of communication comes in from somebody that you have been thinking about, all right? So whoever's on your mind is how I'm hearing it. 
All right, y'all. Happy love day.